So let's have a chat about what I think will be my essentials this winter. Hello, 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 and the warmest of welcome to this video. For those of you who haven't seen my face before, hi, I'm Nick, fab to have you here. For those of you who have seen my face before, thank you so much for joining me again. I hope you're enjoying my videos. I put out videos roughly three times a week on a range of different topics in different fashion, slightly more personal topics. So if that sounds like something you'd be interested in, then please do head down, hit subscribe, and turn on the notification bell. I love chatting with you all. I'm all about living life loud and what that means to me is being your authentic self, being proud to be you and just celebrating who you are. Celebrating yourself and of course celebrating others. So what are we talking about today? We are talking about what I think will be my designer essentials this winter. It's not an extensive list, I'll be honest, it's not the most expensive list you'll ever see but I think these are going to be some of the items in that kind of higher end designer category that will just add a little sprinkle of something to my wardrobe, my winter wardrobe. I live in the UK, it gets quite cold in the UK, it's quite rainy most of the time, so it can be a little bit difficult to decide what to wear because if it's just going to be cold, then that's fine. If it's just going to rain, then that's fine too, but it's sometimes when you, when you end up in the middle or you don't always know what to wear, you want to be practical but you want to be stylish at the same time, the two don't always go hand in hand, especially not for someone like me. I very rarely go towards practical, I tend to lean more towards stylish but when it's absolutely tipping it down with rain and it's cold, you just want to be comfortable. But these are some of the things that, like I said, I think will just add a little bit of a pop, a little bit of something to what I'm planning to wear this winter. So let's get into it. The first thing that I'll say that we'll go through are jackets, are outerwear. I love wearing faux fur. Faux fur, I just think is absolutely fabulous. I enjoy it so much. And this is my new faux fur jacket from the brand Jack. And I love this absolutely love it. I have my pink faux fur from Karl Lagerfeld that is not in retirement, that is still living life loud with me but you know it doesn't it doesn't need to hold it all up by itself so I got this as well. I will probably buy another one of these. This is a little bit a little bit comfier. It's a, it feels a little bit less formal. It's just one that you can kind of wrap around you and feel really pulled together and this, along with my white Longchamp Le Pliage, I think will be a fabulous piece. Maybe a lovely grey trouser. Oh, I'm just imagining how I'm going to style this if the weather permits. If there's any rain in the forecast, this cannot feature. However, for those just cold, crisp days, this is going to be it. Next up, let's do another jacket. And I'm not sure this is one that I've ever shown. I've owned this for years, like years and years and years. This is my Polo Ralph Lauren Mac. I really love this. I have had this for a very long time. Um, this is a water resistant, it's not waterproof, it's water resistant. Just a plain black with the Ralph Lauren logo there, Polo by Ralph Lauren, and it's got a hood that zips up in here. So this is a little bit more versatile because it looks a bit more like a kind of bomber jacket, shell jacket, when it's um, not got the hood, but then you have that option if you want to. If, it, if you just happen to get caught short by the rain, this gives you a little bit more versatility. I love it. I think it's fantastic. I've owned it for, I would say this is 10 years old. 10 years old, easily, easily. Um, and it's wonderful and it's not going anywhere. And until I find another one, I won't replace it. It makes me laugh every time that I see that this is a medium. I used to be a medium. That would be, <laughs> maybe I'll get back to being a medium at some point, but you know, the past 10 years, things have changed, okay? That, that needs to be an L <laughs> these days, but that's okay. Maybe we'll get back there at some point, but. It's a great item. I like wearing it a lot and it's done me really well over the years. So Ralph Lauren, big fan. 
However, the coat that got me through last winter and will get me through this winter. <laughs> the Karl Lagerfeld puffer jacket. I love this. I wish I'd bought the black and white version when I'd seen that at Vista. I went in recently. They didn't have any more puffer jackets, but I've asked them to keep an eye out for me and given my details so that if any drop, they can, um, they can uh, let me know. The reason that I'm not buying one from Karl Lagerfeld, like Boutique, is they're about four or five hundred pounds. When I know that they're going to hit the outlet at some point, if I can get one for circa 200, which is what this was, that's what I prefer to do. I just think it's a fantastic item. I love it. I love the colour. Mine could probably do with a visit to the dry cleaner. Um, I'm going to do that actually. Maybe I'll drop it off tomorrow. Um, it deserves a, a good kind of once over. It's just a great item, very warm, doesn't have a hood, but I feel it's quite chic, it's quite sophisticated. I really love it. I've enjoyed it ever since I've owned it. So that's a good one. I really like this. As I'm sure it can with winter in every climate, it gets pretty bright here. So they these always feature in pretty much everywhere I go. But of course, they'll continue to feature here. And that is my Lacoste pink cat eye sunglasses. I won't put this on because the glare from the ring light, um, but they're absolutely beautiful. They've got the pink Lacoste logo. I keep saying about buying um, another pair of these and I actually need to. I'm going to Google that later. I'm going to research and see if I can find the cat eye sunglasses in another color because I love the shape. I love the way they frame my face. The pink is gorgeous, but I don't need two pairs of pink unless they had one in another shade, like a vibrant pink, a hot pink, a fuchsia. Um, but otherwise, I'll probably try and get some in black or maybe blue. Um, if I could get one in this kind of peacock blue or an electric blue or a soft kind of periwinkle, that would be nice. So let's have a little look. Now let's do footwear. And again, footwear is difficult because leather trainers, yep, yeah, okay, fine. I've got a fair few, but I don't love to wear leather trainers. You can't really wear fabric trainers in winter in the UK because it's muddy, it's raining, it's a bit miserable. So what are you supposed to wear? Well, my favourite pair of winter shoes. My pink Wellington boots from Hunter. Oh, they are reflecting the noise. Um, Meredith from Living Lux with Meredith, fabulous Meredith, has one up to these because she has them from Louis Vuitton. So, I mean, that's, that's next level. Um, but... These are my baby pink Wellington boots from Hunter. I love these. I bought these in July 2021 and I wear them a lot. I like them very much. Mine are in a size 9, an EU43. They've got a little bit of dust on them, but only because I haven't really been wearing them recently. But they have been worn, I can promise you that. These were my third pair of Hunters. My first pair were in purple. My second pair were in the Hunter kind of logo monogram and then these were the pair that I always wanted and I managed to find them in this beautiful high gloss pink in a size that fit me. They're actually a size too small but I'll do anything for the look. So these these are a win. I've now got oh no I've now got dust all over me. No ah right we're just gonna have to pretend that that's not there for the rest of this video okay but these are so fun so fabulous Love them. They're about £100, I would say, which I don't think is terrible. I wear them quite a lot, um, but it feels a little excessive that I've got three. But then I think I've bought them over a period of eight years. So I don't think that's awful. We're going to say that. We're going to say it's not terrible. These are great. They're extra. They're fun. Like I said, I love mine. Meredith one-upped me by the fact that she got Louis Vuitton versions, but that, that's fine. I'm happy to be one up by Meredith. We're, we're, I'm good with it. I've made my peace. Okie cokey, a pair of shoes that I've been dying to wear properly, but when I bought them, it was boiling hot. Back to the temperamentality of British weather. It was boiling hot in September, like October. I mean, what? And I wanted to wear these knee high, only maker, 
platform boots. I can't wait to wear them properly. They look fabulous with what I'm wearing right now. They are gorgeous. They are the moment. They are every moment. They are sexy. They have this fun mock croc print. Uh, these with jeans will be fabulous. I can imagine these with an all black outfit. I can imagine these with a beautiful pink blazer to just add a little bit of a pop. These with that devil's advocate tuxedo blazer that I wore, that I bought with a pair of black trousers. Oh, that would look good. These are great. Not going to wear them when it's raining. Not going to wear them when it's snowing. If it snows this year, that is just dangerous. However, if it is cold, crisp and dry, you bet that these are going to see their moment. I love them. And the last shoe is a very non-me shoe, but you know, sometimes we just have to accept that we don't always get to dress in our style because the weather commands it. Timberlands. Who's surprised that I own a pair of Timberlands? Every time people see me wear these, they always say, I wouldn't have thought you'd have owned some. And you know what? I can see why, but I did used to wear them a lot. They could do with a bit of a clean. These are in the Nubuck suede. Mine are in grey. Um, I didn't want a pair of the classic kind of tan ones. I didn't want a pair of black. I wanted something a bit different, so I went for the grey. These are waterproof. I probably need to give them a good once over, though, to make sure that retains. I find them easy, but I find them a little bit uncomfortable. They're very heavy. So if you're wearing them for a long time, they get very heavy. I would sooner wear a pair of Wellington boots than a pair of these. However, there are just some moments in time that these are more appropriate. The grip on them is better. They're, they're fine. They are, I think, a staple item. I think they are something that you quite often need opposed to want. And did I need the Timberland version? Probably not. But for me, yes. If I'm going to buy this style of shoe. Actually, I say that. I say that. Story time. I debated whether or not I wanted a pair of Timberlands and I was living in Stuttgart at the time and I went to um, TK Maxx or TJ Maxx, um, I can't remember um, which brand it is in Germany, but they had, they had a Timberland store on the main street in Stuttgart and I was debating it, but they were about 250 euro. And I thought that's a lot of money for something I'm not sure I'll wear. So I bought this Kangol version of them and I'll see if I can insert a photo of me wearing them. But I wore them so much and they were 50 euros, I think. And I wore them so much. My feet were dying by the end because I bought them a size too small. But for the point of the experiment, they did what they needed to do. I then came back to the UK and I went to Vista Village and I picked up these. And I think these were about 20% off retail, something like that. They were north of £100, but I'd had the experiment. I'd used the, the Kangol version. I'd left those in Germany because they were crippling my feet, but they'd done what they needed to do. So I went for those. Anyway, that's story time on those and how those came to be. Next up, how could I not have an umbrella? Winter essential in a rainy climate, umbrella. This is my Osprey London umbrella. I'm not someone who's going to have a you know, fancy, fancy umbrella. But to be honest, I'm surprised this one's lasted as long as it does. Normally I leave them on a table somewhere. Normally I break them, like something happens. This one's been with me for years and it's doing really well. I won't open it. It does have a logo in it. I won't open it because I'm superstitious like that and I don't like these being open. It really bothers me when people come in somewhere and leave the open umbrella to dry inside. Like, are you just trying to create bad luck for everyone? Like, what are you trying to do here in this space? Close the umbrella and accept it's going to be a little bit damp when you open it. I'm sorry. Th that feels like the right scenario for me. Stop trying to cast bad luck. I just, I don't like it. Anyway, moving on. Um, yes, so my Osprey London umbrella, that is an absolute must. And I like the fact that it has a little logo. And Osprey, I really like as a brand. It's mid-range again, but hey, I think mid-range is great. So that's where we are there. Now you're probably sat thinking, we haven't seen a bag yet. And that's where we're going to finish. We are going to finish on the weatherproof bag, the weather resistant bag. Now I have quite a few that I could have put in here, but there were three that just made the most sense to me, that just spoke to me the most in terms of putting them in this in this video. My first one, my Longchamp Les Pliages Neo in the colour Nordic. 
The colour, I feel, is very winter appropriate. The fact that the, um, the fact that the Les Pliages are weatherproof and kind of water resistant makes sense to me. The leather doesn't tarn, the, the hardwares don't tarnish, the leather doesn't um, mark. It just makes sense as such a easy to use, but still very chic winter bag. Um, it can come with a strap. I don't use it. I don't know where it is. I've said that many a time, but this I just think is a great winter bag. I think it just makes sense. Mine is currently full of yeah. other bags. Bag within a bag. We have four Les Pliages travel bags. And no, three Les Pliages travel bags. That means one of the travel bags is missing. Um, and then also a Ralph Lauren belt bag, which in fairness could also make this list. Safiano leather belt bag, you know. Actually, I'm going to take the belt out of that. I always say I should use that as a normal belt, and I should. I'm going to take that out. Okay, first first bag pick, Les Pliage Neo in the colour Nordic. Next up, we have a piece from Louis Vuitton. My Louis Vuitton Noé in the Toledo Blue Epi Leather. This is just a great bag, I think, when it comes to being hands-free, easy, weather resistant. The epi leather just feels like it could stand anything, basically. Throw it over your shoulder, easy to easy peasy, lemon squeezy, away you go. I've also added this black strap here, which I'm going to level with you. I also had one on my Mulberry Alexa. I'm going to level with you. It adds really nothing because they're basically the same length, aren't they? I could actually just make this shorter, probably. I thought this was going to be more like a top handle and it's just not. I mean, I'm leaving it for now because I don't hate it. What do you think? I don't hate it, but I certainly don't. I certainly don't love it. What do you think? To be honest, oh, I don't know. I mean, it's not taking anything away from the bag when it's like this. But it's certainly not adding anything, I don't think. So again, failed experiment round two. But this is just so easy, so carefree, so hassle-free. And I don't mean carefree as though I don't care about it. Of course I do. It's a great bag. It's Louis Vuitton. Of course I care about it. It's a very expensive piece. These are in the high hundreds on the resale market. So it's got a value to it. So I do care about it. But when it's raining and when it's cold and when it's dreary, the last thing I want to be doing is fussing over a bag. So this feels fuss free and I love it for that. So let's finish off on one of my most loved bags. It's not always one of my most used, but I do love it. And it holds a very special place in my heart. And it certainly is one of the weatherproofs. My MCM Aaron Shopper. This is great. Um, it's just fun. It's just easy. I, I just love it. I really do. Um, okay, I wish it zipped properly at the top, but actually if you close it like so, it's not got a huge amount of um, space for water to get through, but the water just runs right off the PVC. The black leather is very easy. You don't have to worry about that getting ruined. There's not loads of hardware to tarnish. It's just a very easy piece. The canvas dries quickly. If it ever does get wet, you could remove the pouch entirely and just use it as a PVC bag that's completely transparent. You can throw it on your shoulder if you want to be hands-free. You can put it on the crook of your arm or carry it top handle. That's how I tend to carry this. It's just a great item. I really love this bag. I think it's absolutely fantastic. I don't know what's in it. I think it's just stuffed. Yep, it's just stuffed, um, which is fine. It keeps that shape. I just think it's excellent. The colours I feel are appropriate for winter as well. You can pick out really any of these to work um, to work with an outfit. I just think it's a great item. Happy with it. The only thing that I've continually said with this is that I wish I had the camouflage one, but the camo came out after I bought this and the camo was also a lot more expensive. So there we have it. The camo might hit the outlet at some point and if that does hit the outlet, Believe you me, it's coming home with me. But this was a great piece. I'm very happy with it. I think it's beautiful. I think it's fun. It was my first foray into MCM. And I now need to really pull my finger out and pick up some more MCM pieces. Because I think they're excellent. And 
where I didn't think I was cool enough for the brand, I've now realised I don't care. So I'm just going to pick up what I think works and take it from there. So there we have it, everyone. Those are some of my fashion essentials for winter this year. Let me know what's on your list. Are you someone who buys season by season? Do you have a wardrobe, a capsule wardrobe that you pull out? Or like myself, do you just have some key pieces that you rotate over the top of what you would otherwise wear? Trust and believe there are going to still be some really fun outfits that I'm pulling out. I'm excited to, to try some new things this winter. I actually just received a large order of clothes from ASOS that I'm excited to try. So yes, lot, lots of fun things for the winter. Let me know what you're thinking. Let me know what you're loving this winter. Or if you're in a climate where you're coming into summer, let me know what you're loving for the summer season. Anyhow, thank you so much as always for watching. I look forward to seeing my next video. Take care, everyone. Bye now. Mwah.